So after the shit that was Spurs at Wembley, United host Huddersfield at Old Trafford. United will be confident going into this game regardless of the last result. This is the Starting Eleven show. Let's get into it. Now, after the Spurs game, fans are angry. Understandably, because United play very, very poorly against Spurs. So will Jose Mourinho make some changes? I think he will. I'm going for De Gea in goal with Shaw and Valencia as the wing-backs and Rojo and Smalling as the two centre-backs. Uh, I think Young should be dropped for Luke Shaw. He was excellent prior to Young recovering from his injury. So I don't think that Shaw should be going straight out of the team on a permanent basis now that Young is back. Shaw deserves his place in that team. And bringing Rojo in for Phil Jones, for me, is absolutely essential. If Eric Bailly was fit, he'd be the, one of the first names on this team sheet. You could argue that maybe you should drop Chris Smalling instead, and I think Smalling played worse than Jones. Jones may have scored the own goal against Spurs, but I think Smalling was the one that really exposed United's weakness from bringing the ball out from the back at centre-back. And I think Rojo will help that. I just want to see Rojo back in the team as soon as possible. That's what I think. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, central midfield partnership. I'm sticking with Pogba and Matic. I'm not switching to a midfield three, especially not at home against Huddersfield. United need to be aggressive in this game. And that's why I'm going to stick with 4-2-3-1. And I think Mourinho will stick with a 4-2-3-1. You know, prior to maybe the Arsenal away game we won this year, United away under Mourinho in the big games have been atrocious. And we've always used like a 3-5-2 formation. He didn't use that against Spurs, but he just didn't work out because of that early goal. And I still, I still think we're going to stick to the 4-2-3-1 for the majority of the season. Now, something that is crucial, I think, is playing Martial on the left wing. Don't play Martial out on the right to accommodate Sanchez. Play Sanchez through the middle, but let Martial play out on the left wing. He looked really confused out on the right wing against Spurs. He's much better at cutting inside on his shooting foot than cutting inside on his left. When he did have a chance like that against Spurs, he spunked it right over the bar. So I want to see Martial play on the left, Sanchez through the middle, and I'll probably go for one matter on the right, just so that we can, instead of being focused purely on pace and on the counter-attack, Mata would allow us to have more possession of the ball and allow Valencia to come up and overlap a little bit better than we did against Spurs. And of course, I'm going to start Lukaku up front. He was so isolated against Spurs. We need to, if we're going to lump it up to him, if he's going to win the header, we need Martial or Sanchez or Mata or whoever's playing to be overlapping. So there's no point in him winning the header if there's nobody there to get the ball after. So that's my predicted 11. As I said, a couple of changes. Formation-wise, not changing that at all. But the key changes are Shaw and Rojo in for Le Young at left-back and Jones at centre-back. What is your predicted 11? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV if you are new. We'll see you soon.